Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber and the subscriber sent a donation. So thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. So this one says, so basically, I live with my conservative parents who won't allow me to have casual sex with women. They don't even discuss these types of topics with me because uh, where we uh, come from, parents tend to be shy about talking about these things. They only talk about marriage and they tell me if I ever marry a girl, she should be from my country anyway. Uh, so basically, I'm not going to tolerate that bullshit, but I am ashamed of myself for wanting to have sex with women before marriage. However, I still know that doing this casual sex and dating uh, will help me boost my confidence. So if I ever get married, I'll keep my wife happy and I'll be strong in her eyes. Also, this will help. Uh, get a wife anyway here's my problem i help my parents to pay the rent and i don't earn that much so even if i wanted to leave i won't be able to find a room because i live in queens and you know how expensive it is and if i did leave it's really shameful and not manly to abandon my parents after they spent tons of money on me since i was born so my plan is if i ever got a girl to go out with uh, me, I won't tell them and I'll see if that girl has her own spot so we could bang there. But the harsh part is the time. If I got late more than um, once after 10 p.m., they get suspicious. Um, I once got I once came late uh, from college. Um, it's in Flushing and I live in Astoria. My dad texted me like five times. Where are you and why are you late? Although he knows I have a night shift after the college. Again, I'm lucky to have my days off at the weekend. Uh, but my problem is that I want to make my dates between 5 p.m. And, and maximum 10 p.m. And I'm worried if the if the girls won't like that. Uh, so what are your thoughts? Uh, do you think women mind dates between 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. or even earlier, like 3 p.m. or 4 p.m.? And how long should a date take in general? Because I'm not willing to get caught... Uh, and and also it's in my belief system that what I'm doing is a sin and wrong. And to be honest, I'm not willing to change that belief, but dating will um, help me be a man. OK. All right. So there's a, there's a lot of stuff going on in this situation. And what you're asking me in this email, you're asking me like, you know, how do you get these girls and what's the best time to take them on dates? And if, if the girl's going to feel a certain type of way about you taking her out at this time, you know, that's, that's, that's the least of your problems at this point. You understand? Because there's other things happening in your situation that need to be handled. And this happens a lot with guys where I'll see they're asking me one question, but there's other situations, uh, you know, that they need to take care of before they even get to the other stuff. So, what I'm seeing here is this, is that, you know, you are not autonomous, meaning you don't have any control over your life. You understand? Your parents have control over your life. You see what I mean? So the thing is, you know, and, and also too, your belief system also is stopping you from making certain things happen. So there's this conflict there because you want to make stuff happen with women, but your belief system is saying, well, you know, it's a sin if I do this and, you know, I'm not supposed to, uh, you know, leave home cause I'm supposed to take care of my parents and all this other stuff. So that's the stuff you believe. And even at the end of this, you said, you know, um, you know, uh, you were saying that it's in your belief system that what you're doing is a sin and wrong. And to be honest, you're not willing to change that belief. So if you're not willing to change that belief that what you're doing is wrong, then it's going to be hard for you to do the things that you're trying to do. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, the hard part about this is this, is that people, they hold on too much to, you know, what they believe as if, it's the end all be all. See, you got to be open minded in this game so that you can uh, get the results and progress that you actually want. You see what I'm saying? And and also, you know, just in your specific situation, you know, for example, you were saying that um, you were saying that you help your parents pay the rent and, you know, you don't earn, you don't earn much 
or whatever. And then you said that it's not manly to abandon your parents after they put tons of money um, uh, on you, you know, towards you since you were born. Now, again, you know, all of this is, is just belief systems. You understand what I'm saying? This is what you believe. You're believing that you're abandoning your parents if you leave. See, what I would do in your situation is I would tell your parents, hey, listen, um, cause I'm sure, you know, I don't know your specific situation. Um, but if your parents are able to, um, you know, pay for the rent, I would say to them, be like, listen, y'all hold the rent down. Let me save up some money for a good six months to a year. And I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. But again, your belief system is telling you that you're not supposed to leave your parents and your parents is pushing this marriage thing. And then they, you, you got your dad checking up on you every five minutes. So you're not going to be able to attract the type of woman you want and have the type of dating life or sex life you want. If you are so entangled with your parents, you understand? And so again, this, this is up to you, whether or not you are holding on to that belief system that's keeping you in the place where you're at. See, now I'm not telling you to believe, uh, you know, this or that. I'm saying that you have to understand that the belief system that you have right now or, you know, what you're, what you're, uh, you know, you know, looking at is the thing that's stopping you from getting that progress. Right. So the thing is, is when, when you're, when you're a man, you understand when you are on doing your thing, you're supposed to be about your shit. You're supposed to be controlling your life, not your parents. Like, you know, you're not a kid anymore. You know what I'm saying? You're a man. So you being a man, you have to do man shit, which is you have to do your own thing. You understand? And I know, you know, there's, there's a, uh, like, you know, different cultures and different types of, um, you know, situations where people, um, you know, grow up in a certain type of way. Cause you know, it, it's always funny to me. I've always heard when people, you know, I've dated certain girls and, you know, I've talked to certain people where they're, they're so very attached to their parents. And I'm like, you know, yeah, your parents brought you into the world, but at the same time, you have to, at some point say, look, I got to live my own life. You see what I mean? And again, that's, that's another just belief system I'm talking about, but I'm saying, you know, Choose something that's going to work for you. You understand at the end of the day, that's what I'm saying. So what what you have to understand is this, is that if you want a specific outcome, there's certain things you have to do, right? And so if you want to, um, you know, because this is the thing, you can believe whatever you want and you can stick with whatever you want, but just understand based off of what you believe and based off of what you're sticking with, you're going to get a specific outcome. So if the if the outcome is not what you want based off of your belief, then you might have to switch some stuff up. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm going to tell you now it's going to be hard for you trying to get girls to make things happen when you got your parents texting you all day talking about where you at and why you're not home and you know that's that's not going to fly. You feel what I'm saying? Cuz you're asking, "Oh, you know, should I should I, uh, uh, you know, uh, holler at these girls at this time and that time, you know, that's irrelevant at this point. You understand? And, and, you know, just to answer that question, it doesn't really matter what time you go out on a date with a chick. And, and also you worrying about if she's going to like that or not, that's another issue. So this is what I'm saying. There's all these different things that are going to stop you from getting from point A to point B. So right now I would suggest that you need to basically um figure out a way to get control of your life what do you want to do you understand what do you want to do with your situation not what your parents want what do you want you see what i'm saying you got you got to you got to look at that type of situation and now if you are uh so you know hell bent on staying with you know, the situation you're in now, cause you're like, well, this is what I believe and this is what it is. Then, Hey, that's what you got. That's what you feel you have to do. But understand that you're going to get a specific outcome, right? Based off of your beliefs, based off of, of how you feel things should be going. You understand? But understand that you can't have a specific belief 
and then expect a certain type of outcome. It doesn't work that way. You understand? If you want certain types of outcomes, you have to do certain things. And those certain things you have to do may not go, go with the belief you have. You see what I'm saying? So this is why I say you sometimes, you sometimes what happens is you got to open your mind a little bit and look at things from different angles and different perspectives in order to, you know, try to make something happen in that way. You see what I'm saying? Because you could still go out on dates and you can still meet up with chicks and you can do all this other stuff with the way your situation is now, but it's going to be extremely, extremely difficult for you to even make anything happen because you're on this tight leash with your parents. And this is what I'm saying, you, you know, it, it's going to be more beneficial for you if you break away from that, figure out what you're really trying to do with you and do your own thing. Like I would suggest you, go, you know, get your own spot. Do you understand? Save up some money as long as it takes, you know, get your own spot or get another job that's going to pay you some more money and, you know, get out of your, your, your place. But again, your, your belief is, is that you're, you're not you're supposed to leave your parents <laughs> in their, in their house. I'm sure they'll be fine. You understand? Again, at the end of the day, you got to figure out what's best for you and then, you know, move on to that situation. All right. So that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, make sure you click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Click the link below to get the ebook 60 second game. In this book, you'll learn how your confidence, verbal communication skills, appearance, response to rejection and honesty can affect your game. Click the link below to get your copy today. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up, it's dating and life coach, Mr. Mr. Locario, go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.